Maggie! This year we're really trying to make our life a lot easier because a lot of little things that you have to do every day amount to a lot of hours and they're hours that you just don't have. Drop down. Whoa! This week Luke is working on the irrigation and it's gonna save us so much time. All our water that we use on the land comes from this one well. And to have water in our tiny home where we live, we have to pump it up from the well all the way up to a tank on the top of one of our hills and then gravity fed into another tank and then into our gypsy caravan. And that's how we have running water over there. And whenever I needed to put water in the pig's enclosure, which is very often in summer, I need to go to the gypsy caravan, turn on a switch, then go outside under the gypsy caravan and turn on a tap, then go close to the fence, turn on a yet another tap, and then get that long pipe that's God knows where at that point and get it to the pigs. Turn that on and fill them and then go and close everything again. And now when I need to give water to the pigs, I tap just here and all I have to do is turn it on. Wow! This video is sponsored by Bluetti. Hey guys, welcome to our off-grid life. Have you been wondering what it's like to live off-grid? It is hectic. <laughs> I tell you, we've got so much to do and we're always here and we're always running behind. We're always chasing the seasons. It's already end of April, so we definitely have to get this garden in. So Sarah should be doing some of that in this episode. And I'm gonna try and sort out our watering, our whole watering system, because we've been upgraded. I'll take it from here, Luke. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour around our weeds garden. Yes, that's what I said. Our garden is full. Of weeds. So before we start tackling the garden, I just wanted to give these guys their five minutes of fame. This is the asparagus bed and we've got a lot of asparagus growing, but it's really hard to find them right now. In saying that, Luke picked a handful of asparagus last week and they were delicious. Yummy! This is my herb corner and I can get it out from underneath all the weeds as well. There's a thyme, there's sage, there's marjoram, there's the tomatoes that are doing really well and the peppers hanging up over there. And Luke has just taken out a couple of the flowers because they shouldn't flower yet, they're still very small. So all the energy should go into the plant, not into the fruit just yet. I'm embarrassed to show you this bed because, and I'm embarrassed, sorry Emma, because she did help me with the bed and we planted hundreds of beans and peas here. And I'm sad to say that we did not um, water it as much as it needed to be watered. We were hoping that we wouldn't have to water till it got hot. But they didn't grow that much with the rain that we had. I thought they would do better. And then it got hot, but also our irrigation system was failing us. The garlic is still alive and the comfrey is coming back. It doesn't look amazing, but we're going to give it a lot of TLC next week. There's some strawberries under there. We didn't know the spinach self seeds, but apparently it does because it's growing. There's a lot of little shoots coming up and it did really well last year. So hopefully, even though we're going to be planting it in the same bed, we're going to put a bunch of good stuff in and it will do well again this year because it fed us. We, had, we were eating it in nearly every meal last year. And all our cabbages and kale have now gone to seed, but they were doing really well and we fed the pigs from them nearly every day. So our lettuces are doing okay. We did have a little bit of a problem with them because the chickens got in and dug them all out. So they had to get over the shock of being dug out and abused. No, no, Maggie. Maggie, no. Maggie, I said no. You're a very naughty girl, Maggie. I said that I need to tackle the raspberry bed ASAP two weeks later and I haven't done it yet. It's too late now to do anything else but thin them out and weed it. So I'm gonna get stuck in there and do it now. Knock 
articulated by a child? Ready. That was easy, right? Two seconds, done, if only, right? So now I'm going to show you what's been happening in the shade house. Ooh, wow. Now let's find out what's growing in here. But I'm gonna give you a very useful tip that Matt gave me when he was here two weeks ago. And I should have known this, but I didn't. I mean, it is common sense now that you think about it, but when you plant seeds like I did, you should check the germination, like how long it takes to germinate, and then plant the same seeds that take the same amount of time. So then you can keep them covered in plastic together. Like this, I have a bit of a mess. Half are coming through the plastic, so I have to cover the other half. Anyway, it doesn't make sense what I did. Number one, we have spaghetti squash growing. All of them, I think, came up. And Brussels sprouts, no. These are going to stop coming up. Let's see. Button, butternut squash. Awesome. Chilies? No. It's pumpkin and rainbow chard. Everything is growing. Awesome. That would be amazing if we have loofahs. The yellow tomatoes? Nothing. But there's like three loofahs growing. Awesome. So these, there's quite a bit of action. Upo? It's growing. Melon? Growing. Kale? Growing. Yes. It's useless having all these amazing things growing in there if we have nowhere to plant them when they're ready to be planted. So Luke is going to set up the irrigation. So over to Luke. If you thought the, the garden beds were overgrown, look around the well. <laughs> this is how we got our water from day one, from this well with this pump. So we've had it for about five years. We were thinking about fixing this, it wouldn't have cost much, but then we thought, hold on, Bluetti just gave us the AC300 and the B300, that awesome power bank, and we might as well buy an electric pump and save the money we would use on fuel and just use the solar. This is the pump I bought, 100 bucks, 1000 watts, 5.5 cubic meters of water an hour, 40, 4 bar, 40 meters height, and it has to be maximum 12 meters deep. Has to be 30 centimeters off the bottom, so you have to tie it with a rope and hang it inside. We're gonna put the pipe here and unroll it all the way down to the well. Yeah. But obviously it's gonna move, so if we zip tie it every 5 to 10 meters, uh -huh. I mean, we can leave the black pipe there for now, and then yeah. we can cut it, and when we need it for somewhere else, we cut the zip tie. Okay. But at least it's already in place, not all over. You know what they're like good. when you unravel yeah. them, these things. Let me get some zip ties. This is coming here. So hey. for now, we'll just zip tie it. What? Larry. Oh, Larry. Larry was missing today. Somewhere up there. So I roll and you zip tie. So here. Somewhere there. Well, I'm happy to hear Larry. Uh -huh. I was worried about him. This is much better unrolling it like this. Remember last time? Huh? It was a nightmare. Very good. Here I go. meters I think it is yes, so then we can plug it into the caravan which awesome. is plugged into our solar system which can be plugged into our Bluetti which is the whole point nice. hopefully mm. okay so now we bring it up okay and now we've got a piece of pipe this long. Where's 
use those scissors. And like shoot. And just clean the edge because it can be a bugger sometimes. So that goes in here. That's in there. This comes up close and personal. So now we can measure to the knot. To the knot. Nice and close, huh? To his, you know, privates. <laughs> you want some help? Okay, now we'll just tie it to a rope. Yeah. Okay, let me find a big rock. So just throw it on the middle of the rope there. Okay. So for now we'll just leave it like this. One good tip we got when we first bought this five years ago was when I went to buy it, the guy told me buy another tap for it um, so you don't touch the one of the IBC itself because once that goes it's ruined so we, only, we put one on and we just use that we never open or close the other one. Good tip. Whoop, don't lose it Luke. Okay, I'm going in. Oh man, algae galore. Fun, fun, fun. How deep can I get in? Ooh. Right. Downside of having an IBC tank is if you need to clean it, it ain't fun. So, hello! Maggie, don't eat soap. Such a pig. Doo -doo -doo. Spick and spam, baby. Spick and spam. I bought this online, 20 bucks. Silver on the inside, black on the outside.
Okay, just looked it up. Algae is really good for the garden. Obviously, <laughs> kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna collect it and then use it in the garden. Alright, now that the wells are, the tanks are all clean, we need to cover the well. We have this piece of plastic, it's just about, just about the right it's size. Right. I did buy these clips, they're like for awnings and stuff. So you just do that and it tightens. So instead of putting holes on the edges, we're just going to use these clips, see how it goes. Use you in a few years, maybe. Bye bye, noisy pump. Bye bye, petrol. It was broken. <laughs> Okay, I've got everything hooked up. I'm super excited to see how well the irrigation works and how long it takes to fill the tank. Before, with the petrol one, it used to take five minutes only for, for um, 1,000 litres. Now I'm hoping 30, 25 maybe. We'll see. So that's going to the irrigation. That's going to the irrigation. See? And that one's going into the IBC. Okay. So that's open. Uh-huh. So obviously it's going to go in there. Yeah. Once we want to turn for the irrigation, you, you open that, that, that one first. Open that Never one first. Never have everything closed because the pump will have nowhere okay. to go. Okay, so this thousand IBC is empty. So I'm now clean. we can gauge. So you stay here with a timer. Okay. I'll start the, the pump with the Bluetti from up here, which is awesome because before we had to go down to the well and run up and run down. And when it's full, we'll pull this off a bit. You stop your timer and we'll know how many litres in awesome. so many minutes. So I'll take the camera and go and start it up. Yep, go for it. <laughs> I'm excited! And as soon as I hear as soon as I hear the water come down, I press the timer. Uh-huh, and, and then I'll come and we'll keep an eye on it. And when it's a thousand litres full, we stop the timer. And then we can try out the irrigation. Yay! Okay, so this is where we set up. You might have seen it in a few episodes episodes ago when we got it. It's temporarily set up in our solar room we call it where we have our own solar system and i've been charging it through ac charging through our own system because we don't have any extra panels for it yet so the pump is plugged into the caravan down there which runs into this spur over here and instead of having it plugged into my system now 
I've got it plugged into the Bluetti. So it's pretty cool. All I have to do, hopefully, put that on. Let me get the camera closer. Can you see that? It's a bit blurry, the screen. So it says 83%. We'll keep an eye on how much power it uses to fill up a thousand litres. So we go AC, AC output on. Let's see what's happening. Should have started, yes. 1,107 watts. Okay, so the pump is working. It's crashing! <laughs> Eight minutes and 10 seconds. How full is it, Luke? Nearly half. Okay. Very good. <sighs> How awesome. awesome. Huh? No, no petrol. From this top topmost IBC tank, we have the old pipe from the old pump that goes down all the way down to the well. And off it, we have lines so we can plant trees over here and we can gravity feed them. We can water, give water to anything between here and the earth. So this is the next So the chickens, we've got water by gravity from this tank, the pigs, um, next to the poo bins when you wash them. Yeah, awesome. Uh, where else? Pigs, chookies, the, sh the outdoor shower. Yeah. As well. And the caravan. Awesome. So that's all by gravity from this tank. Wow. Has it stopped? No, it's just really quiet. <laughs> Weird, eh? Uh -huh, it's strange. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down and then call me when it's really full. Okay, very and good. And then close it. Okay, let's let's see what the score is. Okay, so it's taken eleven percent so far. How awesome they are these! Eh? Thank you, Bluetti, so much. Eh? This is amazing. Stop, Bluetti. She said, AC off. Okay, wow. So, that took 12% of the full battery power. That's for a thousand litres. So, the garden, now we can try out the irrigation. But, if you want one of these beauties, you can uh, head down into the description. We have a coupon code, so you get a bit of a discount. We definitely, definitely recommend them. Awesome. So, so how long did it take for a thousand liters? 20 minutes and 15 seconds. Why do you sound like a robot? I don't know. <laughs> 20 minutes. Awesome. We thought, I thought it was going to be about 25. Now the irrigation system is about four or five meters lower, so we will get more water. But last summer we were watering this garden about 1,200 liters a day. So I think if we put on that pump for 20 to 25 minutes, once yeah. when we irrigate every day it will be enough and then we can play it by ear as well so now we're going to turn it on for 20 minutes okay um, but depends on how powerful it is okay, okay. hope it doesn't explode here goes nothing <laughs> ac on 71 percent yeah it's pulling 1000 watts like before so it doesn't take that much more it's a thousand watt i thought it was going to be three times well here we go here we go Come on! Shower time! It's pushing air through, can you hear it? Yep, I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty damn good. Well, let's see. This is everything at once. You can wait till it pushes Still up the air to see if it's strong enough. Ah, we'll see, eh? Nothing out of this yet. Let me close half of them and we'll go from there. I mean, it's spewing, but it's very weak, eh? Number two. Number three. And we'll close these two, I think. And we'll just leave the big spring plugs going. Check that out. Obviously, I have to arrange it. Very good. Awesome. Nice. Ten big spring plugs on that one. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Let's do the switcher with me. Not bad, not bad. Right, let's see, it's strong enough to power all the tiny ones. One, two, three, four, five. Turn off one, and the last one. These look okay. Huh? Mm-hmm. Let me just check the end. These look okay. Yes, we're watering our weeds.
AC off. 58%, so 13% it uses. So it's using about 12% every 20 minutes, every thousand liters up there, probably around one, two down here. So that's pretty good. Very huh? good, <laughs> very good. Thank you, Bluetti. <laughs> We can finally work on the garden. Yay! <laughs> That's the way things go. Eh? You want to do one thing, but then you realize you have to do another thing to do that, and another thing to do that. It's like chasing our tail all the time. Yeah. All right, so that's about it for this week. Hopefully next week we'll get the garden in for summer. Maybe work a bit Start on... Start on it anyway. Maybe work a bit on the inside of the goat house still. We haven't done anything this week on yeah. that. Hey! One last push before the summer hits, eh? Have to thank anyone before we yes, go? Yes, we do have to thank two lovely people this week. Thank you very much, Josh, for joining our Patreon family. And thank you, Miss P, for your generous... Super thanks. Super thanks. Thank you very, thank very you. much. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. <laughs> so thank you, guys, once again for joining us. And if you are new here, don't forget to leave your name and where you're from in the comments so I know where you're from.